Good morning, everybody. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. That's gonna bother me. Hold up. <laughs> Do you like my outfit of the day for work? <laughs> oh, but happy Friday, you guys. Today is the last day of my job. I feel a mix of emotions, honestly. I have a ton of work to do today, so I'm just right now really, really overwhelmed, but I want to pop on and say hello. I'm just about to log into work. It's a little gloomy today, so don't mind me. The exposure has turned up a lot, but welcome to the vlog. I'm really excited. This isn't necessarily going to be like a quitting my job vlog. Uh, film my day, take you guys along my last day, maybe throw in some tips and tricks here and there. It's gonna be busy though. I have to drop off my laptop at some point today. Towards the end of the day, around three, I'll go drop off my computer and then pick up my new one. Um, it's like Russian roulette if you get a new laptop at the hospital. So I have like a 2016 like MacBook Air right now. It's so slow and I'm getting a new one for my job. It's just like the way the budgets work because I'm going to a different department. I have to like return my laptop and get another one and I'm freaking hoping I get a new one this time because Mac got a 2021 MacBook and I'm so jealous. So yeah, I have a really busy day. I have a big to-do list. One of the biggest tips I have for you guys is when you tell your manager you're quitting or like moving departments or something, start like an ongoing to-do list of tasks you have to do before your last day. It's so helpful. Um, I had like a big to-do list of everything I had to get done and it was a lot and so it was like nice to have it in one spot. But now I just have a to-do list for like everything I have to get done today. Um, so I'll show you guys that in a sec. I also have to like take a grad school test, submit a paper. It's a busy, busy day around here, but it's Friday. Matt and I are gonna have a little pizza date night tonight and it's gonna be a really fun day. So I can't wait to take you guys along. I also got something exciting for the office, which is in my car. We'll put that together later. Rachel, Rachel Van, I'm sure you guys know her, in her vlog literally yesterday, she posted about this like white rolling cart that she got and I was like, oh my God, I need that because of a spot in my office and it's a tax write-off, so. I'm gonna put that together after and I'm really excited. But welcome to the vlog. I just wanna say good morning. I'm not, I think I'll get dressed in a little bit and then yeah, towards the end of the day, we'll head to work, drop off my laptop and stuff. Maybe. Welcome to the vlog, happy Friday. I'm gonna get started on work because I have a lot to do and I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. Oh, this is my to-do list for the day. I did have like an ongoing to-do list from like when I said I was quitting, like I said, but this is just like what I've narrowed it down to what I've left to do today. So down here is more like not work stuff, but stuff I have to do. And this is just like all work stuff. So busy, busy day. And I'm also submitting this document. I always get so scared submitting papers. Anyone else? Okay, I'm just doing it. I'm just freaking doing it. Alrighty guys, a little update. It's like 1030 right now. Um, my plan actually has changed. So I think what I'm going to do is I am, I don't know if I wanna do my hair or not. I kinda of just wanna like honestly leave it in the clip cause it's kinda of cute today and like there's no pieces flying out. But I take Stella for a walk in a little bit, probably around like 11.30 and then I have a meeting at, what time's my meeting at? Cause I was originally just gonna drop off my laptop at the end of the day, but I have a meeting from two to three. So I think I'm gonna, drive to the hospital at like 1 30 take my meeting in the office wrap up any things in the office say goodbye to a few people hand in my laptop get my new laptop and then go home um just so i can like get out the house and stuff and then on the way there i'm gonna get a starbucks because i think i still have enough points to get another one i haven't been getting starbucks at all mainly because it's been so cold i don't want to leave the house but i hoard my stars until i have enough for like six free drinks and then i just treat myself for like a whole month and for the day, might even get myself a little cookie or something, who knows? But yeah, so then when I get to work, I can like write my farewell email, all my instructions for things that people have to do until they hire my replacement, yada, yada, yada. I'm also just having some hot lemon water because I'm freezing and I had a cold brew and I'm silly, so that's what I'm having, but that's my little update for now. This is the storage cart that I got. I got it from Staples. It was the cheapest one I could find. I'm super excited to put it together because this is what this area looks like right now. Like I just have this bin with all of like random PR packages and stuff on this table. I love this table, it's from Ikea, it was like 20 bucks, but I'm just gonna find a new spot for it because I think that the cart will be like a better utilization of space. I don't have anything to put in it yet, but I'm gonna use it for like PR and stuff, and then this just has, oh, so I need to check it out, my all time favorite books and stuff, or I'll put like books in here that I'm gonna talk about in a video or something. Um, so yeah, so exciting. Okay, I just made breakfast. I have pretty much everything done, I think. Um, I just need to send my farewell email and bring my laptop in, which I can't do until I go to the office. 
and get Starbucks. But I made some breakfast. I'm having kombucha. I got this new brand of kombucha yesterday at Metro. This is probably the best kombucha I've ever had. You guys know I love a good low sugar kombucha. It's just there's a lot of added sugar sometimes. Stella? No. And I really, it has a lot of flavor in it. So I really like it. Having my usual two scrambled eggs with shredded cheese and turkey and bacon, some strawberries, and some sourdough. So this is the breakfast. I'm going to chow down on this super quick. Got dressed. I'm going to pack my tote bag. Um, obviously my laptop, I should probably get a cover for it. Move my one back and then I'm obviously getting a new one. So I'm just going to stick it in a sleeve. I need my charger. I'll bring my to-do list, obviously. My AirPods are downstairs. Um, my tote bag just has like my purse and stuff. Everyone do a communal prayer with me that I get one of the newer laptops this time because I am sad. Um, okay, Matt has my key. Do I have anything else I need to hand in? I don't think so. I was not expecting there to be no line at Starbucks and now I have no idea what I want. Well, we'll make something up on the spot, I guess. Hi, good, how are you? I'm good, we'll get for you. Can I get first a venti water with no ice? And then I'll get a grande cold brew with a splash of half and half and a pump of Irish cream. Actually, since I have a reward, I should probably just make that a venti. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say. But you were thinking it. <laughs> Two, 150 points, technically. Yeah. Um, so it's actually not working today. Oh. So it'll be on us. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Thanks. Alrighty guys, we got the goods. We made it, we made it to work. Can anyone relate if you have curtain bags, like pieces just stick out of your hair? What are you? Anyways, I made it to work. Oh man. Putting work pants on is a lot of effort. Also, I just put my badge on. Got my coffee. I got a venti cold brew with two pumps of Irish cream and just a splash of half and half. It's not overly exciting but I'm excited about it. And it's 1.40, I have a meeting in 20 minutes, but like I have some work to do, so I'm just gonna go in now, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna leave you guys in here. I need to fix my thing though, my, uh, what's that called? I need to fix my hair situation. I'm gonna put this on, we're gonna go in. Uh, I'll give you guys an outfit of the day when we get home, and then I think I'll do, um, they just did like a 20 minute, or Peloton came out with a 20 minute arm workout, so I think I'm gonna do that. Oh my gosh, okay, let's, Ooh. Okay, you ever just like have those days where nothing on your body is sitting the way it wants, like you want it to? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like nothing today um, is sitting on my body the way I want it to. Okay, all right, got the bun in, let's go into work, I'll chat with you guys after. I never wear these glasses by the way, if they look weird on me, that's, I never wear these ones, but I just finished my last day. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. All I've known is hematology. <laughs> Which is silly, but like, it's all I've known. I've only ever known hematology. I've only ever been educated in hematology and stem cell transplants and leukemias and lymphomas. And going to a new part of the hospital like really scares me, but I think it's like a good scared. It's good to learn, especially if I do wanna go to PA school, I need to familiarize myself with different parts of the hospital. And it's okay to be scared, it's not a bad thing. But you guys, our hospital's phasing out MacBooks, and I'm just sad because look what I got. What is this? She clunky. She. What is this? <sighs> yeah, I just sent out a little like farewell email, and here we are. But I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Yeah, I'm scared. But I think it's okay to be scared and it's good to be scared. I think if something excites you and scares you at the same time, then it's kind of worth a shot, you know what I mean? So creating your fears is one of the most important parts on your journey, whether it's professional, romantical, like whatever it is, I think that conquering your fears is important and yeah. My day is done, some errands to run. Um, Matt was gonna go and pick up a dog toy today 
for our friends if you guys saw the last vlog you would know that our friends are getting a puppy tomorrow and so we made them a little gift basket but we didn't get them any toys um but he picked up overtime today so i'm excited i have to go home and write my grad school test and stuff so i was like pick up overtime like we're not doing anything um so i'm gonna stop by home science on the way home and pick up um a little toy maybe a little toy for stella for valentine's day and i'm gonna vlog my whole first week in my new job which is exciting but i'm i'm scared and i'm nervous and i think that that's okay I can't believe it. I really can't believe I'm doing this. Wow. Just a reminder to like chase your dreams, but in like a realistic way. I feel like everyone is super quick to like, like quit your job with no backup plan. And if you do that, that's fine. Like I'm not judging, but I'm just saying I personally could not do that, which is why me going part-time is like a good start. I don't know if I'm ever gonna quit my job for YouTube. I have no idea what the future holds, honestly. People ask me that all the time and I'm like, I just don't know. But I think this is a good jump. I think this is a good leap of faith because it is a little scary going from working full-time to three days a week even if I'm making like more money it's still scary and I'm excited to see what the future has to hold I hope you guys are excited to come along on the journey and it's the end to an era yeah so anyways let's go to home sense I also need to go to the LCBO and pick up a bottle of wine I also my badge wasn't working for my parking so I had to pay for parking and now my badge is stuck on my earring so that's like a bummer i hate having to do that but hello oh it is what it is I'm really happy that i got water for myself go past me and yeah all right let's go ahead to home sense let's go get uh, dog toys and wine the epitome of my life I'm losing my mind. okay guys i'm sitting in the marshall's parking <laughs> And I'm, I'm just reflecting and man, um, wow. I feel like if you work in healthcare, maybe you'll get this. I'm like sad to leave my job, but I'm sadder to leave my department because it's all I've known and it's what made me like fall in love with medicine. And so it's just like, it's a little bit bittersweet. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Anyways yeah anyways i just i hate being the person that's like oh I'm not, I'm not, i don't want to cry on camera but like i think it's important for you guys to realize that like it's okay to know it's time to move on to something and still be sad about it i think just like the overall i think i'm just sad as a whole like to leave the department i'm in you guys know like that's where i fell in love with medicine that's where i realized i wanted to like pursue further it's just yeah it's where I met Matt. It's where I met my best friend. Like, it's just a really full circle moment for me. So, it's, it's just a little bittersweet. Um, it's just, it's really bittersweet. Anyways, I'm going to go into Marshall's and console myself. I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. Let's go. Oh, my gosh, you guys. They finally have these. Look how cute these are. I don't need them, but they're cute. Look how cute these are. Aww. Oh my god, I just never know what to get. Maybe I'll get them this one. This is like kind of funny. The white claw. Oh, they have a little minion. Okay, maybe I'll do, this is cute. It's like a little teddy bear and it's a crinkle toy. I might do this one. It's so cute though, it's like a little bunny. Maybe I'll do this one, this one's just cute. Guys, really random, but I went to Michael's. I never go in there unless it's seasonal. And I'm really happy because I got this cute little container and it says keepsakes on it. And I keep all of Matt and I's keepsakes in like a dollar store, like blue, ugly container. So I'm really excited about this because I think it will look cute like out somewhere. So I'm really happy about this. This, oh, it comes with tissue paper. Look at this cute bag. It has like dogs all over it. And then I got them this like little bunny. It's like neutral. Cause like I said, I don't know if I'm having a boy or a girl puppy. And then I had to get Stella a toy for Valentine's Day. So I got her this really cute little like bear and it's crinkly. She loves crinkle toys. We don't do squeakers in our house anymore. It drives us too crazy. So I'd say that's a success. I, and now I can go home, relax, take my grad school test. So not relax. And I think I also, super quick, also, Y'all realize by now I have literally no waist. Like I am just like a board. So like I feel like when I wear pants that are high waisted, they don't look good because I'm like a legit board. Like I don't have a waist. I'm just straight. I'm like a freaking pencil, not a pencil, like a ruler. But I'm just wearing this gray turtleneck. I think it's from Walmart. Got my hair up in a clip. And then these are black slacks from Old Navy. 30. I'm gonna give you guys a little wine haul. I'm gonna take self for a walk, and then I'm gonna take my grad school test. 
So we've got three bottles of wine and champagne for, I'm trying to remember how much it was, but. Um, one's from Matt. Okay, I got this as like a cute little joke to pop because you know, it's new beginnings. We're gonna make the most of it. Um, I got this one to try. I love low sugar wine. I just don't like my wine sweet. And I saw this new brand and it's called Honest Law and it has one gram of sugar. So I'm really excited to try this one. I got this from Matt. Matt's slowly weaning himself off of sugary wine. So now we're at 20 grams a liter. So I got him this one. It's a German wine. All these wines are under like $11. We like cheap wine here. And then I just got this one. I love anything from like Argentina. I find they make really, really good wine. So anyways, that's my little wine thing. Maybe we'll pop this when we get back from our walk as like a little fun celebration. Okay, sit. We have to give one toy away if you get a new one. So which toy can we get rid of? Can we get rid of this crocodile that you don't play with? You want your crinkly bail? Okay. Say peace and hold. Go. <laughs> oh my god, look at that little tail go. You so happy. <gasps> oh no, there's a squeaker in the head. <gasps> What's that? Is that for you? <gasps> your spoiled girl. You're spoiled. So obviously put some PJs back on, obviously. We're gonna pop some champagne. I'm sure someone is gonna think, Carter, it's 5.30 on a Friday. Why are you popping champagne by yourself? There's a question you should ask yourself. Not why are we popping champagne, but why aren't you popping champagne? First of all, I'm doing it by myself because I'm an independent woman. I don't need no man to celebrate. I'm just kidding, I am an independent woman though. Uh, Matt doesn't like champagne. And I just feel like popping champagne because this was literally $4. And why not? We need to pop champagne for the little moments more. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna actually just finished my grad school exam. It was a lot shorter than I thought. I thought it was gonna take the full two hours. It was like 40 minutes. Uh, so we're also popping because we just did our first grad school test, which is exciting. And this doesn't really, um, yeah, this is very anticlimactic. It doesn't, it doesn't pop. Yeah, this doesn't pop. If you guys are curious what brand it is, it's really good. We get this one all the time because it's small and it's like $4. This is the brand. So, cheers. Um, I am trying to figure out what I want to do. Be a good girlfriend and maybe like clean so that we don't have to do it this weekend. Oh, she's a bubbly. <laughs> Or if I want to relax, Matt won't be home for like two hours. So I feel like I could like vacuum and stuff. I just like, I've already closed my loops. I've, I've got like 15,000 steps. Yeah, there's not much in here. It's like literally enough for glass. It's like perfect. Cheers to new beginnings and being scared and still doing stuff anyways. I'm really excited to upload today's vlog. I think it's so fun. Yeah, I don't know, cheers. Anyone else actually enjoy champagne? it but it's so cute does anyone else do this with your significant other like we keep all of our cards and do you guys want a keepsake box tour <laughs> um i surprised my other disney trip um obviously anything like big is in our uh shadow boxes but like matt and i keep all of our coasters from trips um we keep all of our coffee sleeves and just like stuff like that i have some extra Photos from the photo booth at pop And then I just have a bunch of extra pictures and stuff But I want to put it somewhere down here because it's really cute. I just don't know where yet I was thinking on the dining table, but I don't know. We'll see for now Maybe I'll just like leave it in here, but it's kind of awkward timing because it's 530 and I'm hungry But I can't eat yet. I'll show you guys But I think I'm gonna take some time and just clean and that's a nice surprise for Matt He's worked a lot of overtime this week and I don't know I just thought it'd be nice. His love language is, or his receiving love language is like coming home to a clean house. So I think I'm gonna take the time and like vacuum and stuff. And I'm kind of antsy. Like I don't really want to sit on the couch and read. So I think that's a good plan. So we're gonna do that. And I'll chat with you guys in a little bit. I'm not gonna record it because I, I just find it boring. I'm just gonna vacuum. But yeah, champagne vacuuming on a Friday night. We're living it up. Hey guys, I'm ending the vlog off with this delicious pizza. I hope you guys enjoyed. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off. I'm like super comfy right now. I'm literally back from the same thing I started the vlog in. But Matt's about to get home. We're gonna snuggle up. I just poured him 
a glass of wine. We're gonna have pizza and Caesar salad. It's gonna be a fun little date night at home. And thank you guys for coming along with me on my last day of work. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!